welcome to another episode of the Creative Spin Podcast. Buckle up, you're in for a show. And here we are again, another episode of the Creative Spin Podcast where you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, there might be some bloopers at the end of this uh, video. I don't know. This is I, arguably our third podcast. We, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's some minor details that happen sometimes when you're uh, putting together a podcast. There's a lot of stuff. There's audio, there's cameras, there's lights. And sometimes one of those things, uh, you know, we miss. We, we miss one. Yeah. It happens, right? Yeah. I'm, here yeah. with, uh, I'm here with Michael Costa. Thank you for coming back to the podcast again, man. Glad to be here. Thanks good, for having good. me. Good. Um, as I was saying on the last podcast that I, we, we we just did like two seconds ago, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good fifteen minutes. We could release that. <laughs> oh man, it happens. I think you know. Let's blame it on the coffee. Um, <laughs> but it's it's uh, what I was saying before, and I'm going to repeat it now because nobody heard it. Um, I'm trying to get my my guests back to get an overview of what their life has been since the world has gone to, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. So, you know, and, and one of the reasons why I, I want to do this is I think it's affected everybody a little bit different. Um, it depends on, I guess, what the person is doing, how they're doing their job, or if they have kids, if they don't have kids, if they have a big family, a small family, they live downtown Toronto, outside Toronto. I think mm-hmm. all of these little elements um, affect that question. And that's why, you know, I think in, in a general sense, I think everybody kind of has that idea that, oh, you know what? It's not going that well. Mm-hmm. Things are not okay. And we realize that. But I think it affects everybody. On, when you look at the details, I think it affects everybody a little bit different. So in your case, um, you know, let's start with your work and then your your side work, your your hobby, or your uh, the part that you like doing in terms of of, uh, of having a camera in your hand and, and taking all those pictures, the fun stuff, the fun stuff. Yeah, how's it been for you, man? Well, it's been interesting, and uh, it's it's interesting that you brought up the first part too. Like my nine to five. I mean, we're one of those companies that completely had to pivot, mm-hmm. so we went from hardcore like automotive testing stuff like that. Very exciting stuff, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, we pivoted now to like helping companies build ventilators. And, and it's like oh, such wow. a massive, we converted the cafeteria into a clean room for manufacturing. And so, so you're, the, the company then adapted to, to this yeah. whole change and they really yeah. changed the way, what they were doing and how they were doing things. Yeah, then. it's keeping us afloat too. Yeah, so that, that's been that's helpful. That's interesting. Yeah, and of course, a lot of us has been, have been working from home as well. Yeah, so I was just going to ask, so a lot of you guys were able to, to do the work from home, and, mm-hmm. and that's the, the way that, that they went. Have, what about like your friends, family? Uh, have you noticed that that has been the case for a lot, of, uh, a lot of their side, like on their side, to being able to work from home? For the most part, yeah. I only have one aunt uh, who hasn't been able to. The company will not move to like a cloud-based server or anything like that, mm-hmm. so they're, they are not. But uh, everyone else that I... No, unless they work in retail, has been able to work from home. So yeah. that's been good. Yeah. How's that change been for you? Like, uh, do you? Pre- how, I know a lot of people have this idea. Oh, I'm going to work from home. It's going to be great, but yeah. it might not be the best picture for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> How's it been for you? I'll tell you why. It, it's been. Um, I think there are positive and negatives. Like you said, like initially off the bat, it's awesome. Okay. Oh I yeah, I'm going to stay home. I can have a beer at four o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon while I'm working on the computer. Yeah, exactly. Have Not a, that I've ever done that, but oh, okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, been, it's been challenging, man. Um, you know, like I think for one, okay, just, just exclusively talking about my nine to five, it's the f- further you are away from the thing, the less you care about the thing. Mm. right so me especially in marketing like I I need to care about the thing and so like there are a lot of days where I'll be dragging my feet Mm -hmm. to get to to doing that work but then when you introduce the other side of it which is like yeah I am a a photographer and I am trying to make this this a thing uh where I go full-time with this um it's a challenge too because now my nine to five my photography side hustle and my personal life all Mm -hmm. exists within the realm of this one 
room. Rum, one area, yeah. yeah. It, it does it does become a challenge. Like I'll be honest, um, I, I had moved my office, uh, my main office for myself, uh, to my own house, uh, renovated the whole place, made it my way. Uh, so I've been working from home for a while. I do have the offices here. I work uh, place one that we uh, we utilize and all of that. But um, my my main office where I, I, you know, I do my nine to five, I guess you can call it that, is, is from already from home and it has been for the past two and a half years. And so for me, it wasn't much of a change in that aspect. Right. What changed was all of a sudden I have Anna, teacher, on the other computer, on the other side, teaching her kids with my two kids beside her uh she's trying to teach the kids in school teach our kids i'm there the dog everything it's like and it's interesting where i thought you know uh because i was already working from home i thought you know what this isn't going to be much of a change it's going to be fine i'm not saying that it became an issue but it became a different scenario for sure Mm. a lot of more distractions Uh, you're used to, like I was used to just sitting down and doing my thing and concentrating on the project or, uh, you know, having that conference call or whatever it was to all of a sudden having my son asking questions, my daughter doing this and my wife doing the other thing and all these noises in the background that distract you. Yeah. And that's a really interesting point. I think a lot of people think that when you're working a creative field that you can just pick up and go because it's fun and whatever. No, you need to get into a zone in a rhythm. Yeah. So that you can work for the next three, four hours on this thing and get it done. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. Like in, in my case, it's it's not so much a rhythm, but it's also a rhythm that I've gotten used to for years. I mean, right. let's not forget, I've been doing this for quite a while. I mean, the gray hair, uh, it's not just here for decoration, you know? Oh, you dyed it. Uh, yeah. Of course, of course I did. Good one, Michael. You'll be a guest again in this Creative <laughs> Spin podcast once again. Yes. Come back for a fourth episode, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's... Uh, you get used to doing things in a certain way. So you wake up, you have your morning routine, you have your mm-hmm. daily routine, you have all of these things that fall into place in a certain way that you've gotten used to doing. All of a sudden, you just get that little kick in the butt, yeah. you know, and you, uh, oh, there, there are people talking in the back there. And, you know, you're on a call and your kid decides to start yelling or screaming because he wants something. You know, it's, it's a different reality, but... You know, you get used to it. I think we're all in the same boat. We're all mm-hmm. in this together. Uh, and I feel like the more time has gone by, people are now getting, I wouldn't say getting more comfortable with it, but getting, I, I think they're getting comfortable with the idea of it. Yeah. And they're they're just now getting to that point because it's been about six months now, man. It's been a while. I, when I was talking to Anna uh, earlier the, this week and we're talking about how long it's been, it's crazy, man. It's dragged on, though. It hasn't I mean, flown remember, by. Remember the time, like, when this whole thing started, and we're like, oh, it'll be about two months, and then, you know, things will calm down, and we'll go back to normal, and then all of a sudden, that became three months, and five, and six, and now going seven. And then, now we're talking about wave two. And, and then, yeah. yeah, and then, I don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. And But I feel like um, if, if and I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't, but if, if wave two comes around, um people will be more u- more used to this change i mean they'll just continue trying to live their life or do their their, their job in in that different way there i think we've adapted to that already and i think yeah. it'll be a little bit easier will businesses be able to survive that's a different question and um it's tough man i talk to a lot of um a lot of businesses out there and they're they're not doing well it's and, and I'm talking to people in a lot of different fields. Um, it affected everybody in in their own way, and um, it it's it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen if this so-called wave two is going to come crashing down. Yeah, I feel like not even with uh, with the government help or whatever other kind of help is going to come in. It's it's just not going to uh, to be enough to sustain what we used to see as a normal life for like yeah. a normal, you know, nine to fives and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting um, to see that. But I also saw one thing during this whole hunkered down at home situation. Um, I saw a lot of people getting more creative. Uh, a lot of people started doing those hobbies that they, they always had in you know, kind of in, in the corner there. Yeah. And they, they would, 
uh, let me do it in the weekend or let me do it uh, after hours or anything like that. But now they have a little bit more time mm -hmm. and they're starting to, to develop uh, more creative things. And I've noticed that photography, videography, even the YouTube world, the podcasting world has exploded in the last uh, three to four months. Um, and in your case, you have the photography hobby and the podcast hobby as well. That's right. Um, since the last time you were here, you started That's your own yeah. podcast. So yeah. let's start with the photography side. Sure. We're going to dive into the podcast right after. But from a photography perspective, have you had more time to play around with your cameras, to be more creative? Uh, have you started new projects, new ideas? What's, what's been the process in the last few months? It's interesting. So um, I actually found, for me personally, I've been less creative. And I think it's because, um, I mean, for those first three, four months, it was everything's locked down, stay home, stay home, stay home. And when you talk about creativity, like the, you, you talk about like thinking outside the box and being able to not have restraint to be ultra, like extremely creative. But then when there's messaging, stay home, stay home, stay home, like this place is closed, this place is closed, like it really um, affects your ability to create mm -hmm. the way you want to create all the time. And um, I found that I was just less motivated actually uh, to at least initially to start creating. Um, Recently, I've been obviously yeah, like playing around with podcasting and and talking about photography, um, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I speaking want of uh, of the podcast. So you started a podcast. Um, when when did you start? Well, a few months ago. Yeah, was it more or less? Yeah. probably. Yeah, right, okay. Probably. Let's, let's go episodes. How many episodes do we have now? Eight. Eight. I had a okay. one month pause. A month. Okay. Yeah gonna get back into that right i, I am i okay, am i've okay. done two episodes I'm gonna be, I'm, since i'm gonna be following I'm okay gonna be following. Right, you better uh <laughs> so you decided to do it based on in photography obviously because that's what you like but yeah we've had this conversation before and you're thinking about you know can i do some other stuff and talk yeah. about some other stuff let's uh you know talking about podcasting i just wanted to get your perspective and how it was starting up the podcast let's yeah. go into a technical aspect sure how was it for you like cameras mics all this kind of stuff how, how was it to set up everything up i made a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. honestly like you you overthink things or you don't think about the details enough and then the first few episodes were just a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. but i think like the big thing was just not allowing yourself to get upset about it and just thinking ah it's not for me i can't yeah. get it right uh you just fight through it and eventually you find your rhythm right i mean you know you've been doing the podcast for so long now yeah. Um, you just kind of find that rhythm. I mean, excluding the beginning when we... But you see, the good <laughs> example was right at the beginning where we forgot to switch on the lights and like, things are a little bit spark in here. Yeah. It happens, right? Yeah. Uh, but I one of the, the, the key messages that... The, one of the reasons why I wanted to ask you that question yeah. is, do you think that it is that difficult for somebody to start a podcast? No. No, no right? not at all. Okay. Because... and. I was hoping for that answer because I don't think so either. And the reason why I'm saying this, I think that this is such a powerful way to get messages out. And I know like I sound like a broken record on social media and, and whoever I talk to, but it is the truth, man. This is such a cool, um, a cool medium to really be able to talk about what you do or yeah. what you sell uh, to, to start that conversation with the other you know, another person or another yeah. vendor, a supplier or another person in the same field as you. Yeah. I think it brings out uh, a lot of positive uh, points to you as a business person, or even if you're not in business, but or to your hobby you or whatever you're something. doing, right? Yeah. Um, How has it been with um, getting your guests in lately? Like, have you been doing it at like yeah. in person or have you been doing Zooms? Have, did you try the Zoom thing or how did that go? Yeah, so uh, recently, yeah, that's the My Creative Friends podcast. Um, shot three episodes so far. One was digital. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually used Google Meet on that one. Okay. Um, it was okay. She she. We just say Zoom for everything at this point. I know, right? yeah. Like, it's like, it's it a Kleenex. Well, it was yeah. technically Skype or, <laughs> you know, but no, no, it's Zoom, man. Uh, All right, yeah, I was, sorry. We Zoomed <laughs> in, yeah. Um, but yeah, she, she kind of glitched out a couple of times, but uh, it was okay. It was okay. You know, the conversation was still really good. We were able to get points across. Yeah, and, and then the other two were in person. And what, what, do, you, what do you prefer? Always in person. Oh, Always okay. in person, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you 1,000%. Uh, even before 
this whole thing hit, uh, we did a couple of, uh, quite a few actually, uh, podcasts where we, you know, we had somebody in Netherlands, a couple of people in Australia and uh, in, in Germany. We've been around the world, man. We're That's like cool. internationally known. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we did it and, and it worked out and it was okay. But I never really liked them in the sense of the technicality and the lack of, I don't know, there's just something about being face to face with someone. Yeah. But that being said, I also understand that going digital, especially now, is something that we need to get used yeah. to. Um, I think it has to do with a lot of us getting used to that little two second delay or one second delay where it seems, did you get to that point where you're talking, the other person's answering and you're, you're, oh, you're uh, yeah, that's you, all you, you hear. You know what? <laughs> you and me would never be able to do it because you and me are both like very, um, we like to drive conversations. Yeah. So if there is a two second delay, we're going to be talking over each other all the time. And it's always yeah. an issue. It's yeah. a, it was an issue for me when I did my, uh, my zoom uh, <laughs> podcast. Was it though? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, but you know, it's, it was always a, an issue and I guess we'll g all get used to pausing, waiting for the other person to make sure that the other person has actually <laughs> finished their conversation mm -hmm. and then jump in. But, uh, I think it's going to be the reality of things, man. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this is the world we're living in, in today. So it is what it is, but going back to the, to your podcast, um, what are your plans? Like, what are you thinking? What do you think yeah. you're doing in the future? Um, yeah, so for right now we have, I have two podcasts. I have the growing photographer podcast. That's just me just highlighting cool, creative stuff that's going on. Um, and then there's the, my creative friends podcast, where I Just sit across similar, like we're doing now, mm -hmm. just talk to creative people. Um, I'm loving those. Um, I've had some ideas around other unique video content that has a bit more of an impact. Mm hmm but I'm trying to hold off on that because I want to get to a place where I can do it right. Okay. For, for when it comes to stuff like that, I think it, I want to take that time to make sure it really gets done right and strikes the right chord. Okay. Um, but um, in general, I just want to start uploading YouTube content again, because I've been a little bit um, lazy on, not lazy on it, but a bit more, um, I guess I've been struggling to find the time a bit more, but I, I've been getting the podcast out. Mm -hmm. So that's been good. Um, also, uh, since our last conversation, um, I've been talking video game content as well, oh, the channel as well. Another very big passion of mine, uh, is the business industry there on the, in, in the, video, the video game games. side. So oh. I found somebody else who's very passionate about it as well. So we've been talking that and it's been cool, you know, just having the cool part of a podcast is just talking about things that you love. Yeah. Just having a good conversation. And when you're able to find a guest that, that kind of can relate to what you like as well, things just go a lot smoother. And, yeah. Uh, the gaming industry, I mean, that's that's going to, a lot of people are talking about that. And there's always, there's a huge interest. I don't, you know, I don't think there's any young person or up to their 50s that doesn't like video games. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a great idea. To, to talk about but are you have you ever thought about doing like a twitch stream or something like that at the same time yeah. or i i did a couple of streams okay i did a couple of streams yeah i didn't get that invitation i don't know why i don't know right, I'll, I'll, I'll let here, you know man. i'll let you know i don't know yeah I don't know. next time i forget to turn the lights on i'll think of you <laughs> <laughs> but um, psh, I, I think i have what that you got? here what I do you got oh okay know. that's okay i'm not gonna hit that uh that special effect going on here. Today's podcast is brought to you by Workplace One, a company offering boutique, private offices, co-working spaces, and virtual office solutions, as well as meeting rooms in the best neighborhoods of Toronto and Kitchener-Waterloo. Ideal for entrepreneurs, companies, and passionate business people. Workplace One is where you want to be with your business. For more information, go over to WorkplaceOne.com. Um, so do you think, and, and do you, do you see yourself in the future, uh, continuing these projects and how do you think they will weigh in your life? Like, I, uh, do you want to eventually get to a point where your hobbies become your full time or, or you just want to just keep this as a hobby? Like what's your, Oh, hundred percent. It need it needs to be my full time. Really? It needs to be my full time. And, and that's both sides of it. Like that is my lifestyle photography as a business and my my personal brand or whatever you want to refer to it as like in the content creation side of things mm -hmm. like I, those are the things that bring me the happiness. Yeah. You know, 
Um, and so to be able to do something like that full time is something I'm striving towards right now and trying to push the needle on. What do you think is the, the biggest issue right now to, to kind of push that forward? Uh, I think, I think it, it's probably like an obvious one. It's like financially, especially at a point like now, mm-hmm. like it's hard to commit to something like that where you don't know how stable your clients are going to be. Um, on the content creation side, it's such a slow burn till you can get to a point where that can start contributing a bit more as well. So I think it's um, for right now, just having that patience, um, but continuing to take those steps that are going to get me to that point. But I think right now, 2020 has made it just a little, that journey a little longer. Just a little yeah, longer, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's delayed a lot of, a lot of stuff out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, because it's ins- it, we're we're living in this uncertainty, right? Like we don't know. Yeah. Like you said, clients, we have to understand they they're everybody's going through the the same struggles, right? Yeah. So it's just gonna trickle down. Um, in terms of photography, uh, we did uh, we did a couple of photo shoots ourselves. We did uh, some of the the pictures that you guys might be seeing on uh, on Creative Seven's uh, social media. Uh, some of them are are from those photo shoots, and um, that was that was a fun project that that yeah. we did. I had done some before with Colin as well, and and some other photographers. Um, I always like doing that because I feel like you know, otherwise, if well, in my case, you know, Creative Seven and and me, it's basically we're we're the same. It's like a double personality thing going on, uh, but the company and me, it is what it is, right? So that's why I feel like you know, when you're posting stuff online, you need to try at least to look your best even though with me it's it's really hard oh, you're you gonna have to here. photoshop a lot <laughs> and you're gonna have to tweak all those colors and i was in know. front of the computer yeah. screen for two days straight you saw one picture right yeah, yeah. oh yeah. one photo yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> but uh I, do you find that uh a lot more people are looking into doing stuff like that or or not so it's actually interesting you ask so one thing that i've been finding recently is a lot of people have been starting starting businesses Mm. And I think it's like maybe pastimes or hobbies that they had. And now they're saying, you know what? I have the extra time. Let's just do something. And in in this era, like it doesn't take a whole lot to just yeah. start putting out videos, open a website and have a contact form. Right. Exactly. So throughout the last couple of months, and that's the reason I actually took a month break um, was because I started getting like a random abundance of, of clients and it wasn't like crazy. I'm not quitting my job tomorrow yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything like that. And now we're, nor am I relying on them to be a consistent uh, revenue stream. But I found it very interesting that there are a lot of these people that are now creating little side hustles just based off of time. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's been interesting. Do you feel that this is going to continue? Uh, the people creating new jobs, new ideas, new, new businesses. Do you think it's something that you foresee in the future? I can see people doing it. I don't know how many people will stick to it though, right? Because mm-hmm. it's like having that mental endurance in general is something that I keep hearing about as I talk to people um, about me um, having a full-time business and stuff like that. But even as a side hustle, there's a time commitment there. And I think with the additional context of 2020 and what that means to the pockets of some people, like it's a whole other struggle that if you're trying to sell something, a service, a product, or whatever that is, y- you have to be patient enough. Mm. And I just, we're going to, I don't know, like, that's why I'm saying I'm not relying on them for reoccurring revenue. It's just been interesting to see how many people are starting. I just don't know um, how many people are going to stick to it, I guess is more so what okay. I'm thinking. And, and since you started doing this a little bit more now mm-hmm. uh, in the last few months, what, what are <laughs> the ups and downs of the, the experience? Like things that you weren't, you, you didn't think about before and all of a sudden you're like, gosh darn, now I have to, oh. uh, my camera, my, my, my tripods or my lenses or my uh, lights. Like w- what has been uh, a challenge that you, you weren't thinking of? Did you have any or has, has everything been smooth? <laughs> <laughs> everything's been perfect hire me my number's listed below um <laughs> no you know what i think it's just like just like anything if you're an athlete just being out of rhythm for a while yeah um just slow down and just having to take that extra step to really make sure you're not forgetting things like you said um to even just flexing the creative muscle when you haven't had to for a while yeah yeah 
I think uh, sometimes when you're you're too comfortable at stuff, that's when you start forgetting and and just screwing things up a little bit. Uh, no pun intended to what happened 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we um, referred to this a lot in the podcast. I know, man. Now I have to show some bloopers at the end, right? Oh, please. Um, anything else you want to add to? Any projects or anything interesting that's happened in your life or uh, anything that you want to talk about, man? Uh, or do we know everything about Michael Costa at this point? I'm a very deep... Oh. Deep Gosh. guarded secret. I don't know if the world's ready for that. But uh, in all <laughs> seriousness, uh, I'd say just check out the my creative friends my creative friends podcast. I do know the name to my own show. Yeah, I yeah, promise. you should. I mean, um, yeah, have an episode coming out t- today. First episode of season two. Very oh. excited about that. So this will be two weeks after that. So uh, look, go back to ah, your calendar. That's and, true. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you know we're very uh, up, you know we're recording things way ahead of time here. <laughs> Um, but okay, well, we'll put all the, I mean, we'll put all the information for your show and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, down, down in the description below. <laughs> uh, so you guys can click and, uh, go check it out. Um, and thank you. Thank you for being here once again. And, uh, we're going to have to keep on doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and let's see if the podcast world keeps growing so we can grow with it. How's that? Good outro. Yeah, good outro. All right, guys. Thank you for being here all two of you guys uh, appreciate that's all I only have are you referring follow- to the cameras or oh okay no, two followers, the followers. Yeah, yeah that's not okay. true yeah of course not true. Come okay on. three sorry my mom you have a book signing this. tomorrow don't you my mom watches this after ah. um, so <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one cool